Assalamu alaikum friends welcome back to my channel so in this video we have given that triangle ABC with its base is 3 and its height is 2 and here PQRS is a square and we have to find the area of this given square so here we have PQ RS is a square. So if PQRS is a square, it means it's all sides are equal. So PQ will be equal to QR and it will be equal to RS and it will also be equal to SP. So we suppose that it will be equal to X. So it's mean it will be equal to x, it will also be equal to x, it will be equal to x and it will also be equal to x. Now, if I draw a perpendicular from point A to BC, so it will become this. So here we got two angles 90 degree. So we will name them it is N and this point is M. So PS, this PS is equal to this N M. So PS is equal to N M or we can write it as M N. And we know that this PS is equal to X. So it's mean MN will be equal to X. And here we have height is 2 and it is AM. So it's mean here we have given that AM is equal to 2. But in this figure, we can see that this AM is equal to AM plus NM. So, AM is AN plus NM or MN, both are same and it is equal to 2. So, here MN is equal to X, so its mean it will be X, so AN plus x is equal to 2 so from here a n will be equal to 2 minus x it's mean this a n is 2 minus x and now we know that this p q r s is a square so this p q is parallel to r s PQ is parallel to RS and also this BC is also parallel to this as SR. So BC is also parallel to RS. Then it means that this angle and this angle are equal. So we will name them alpha and similarly this angle and this angle will be same so we will name them angle beta now in triangle asr and in triangle abc we have in triangle asr and triangle a, B, C. We have this angle A, S, R is equal to alpha and this angle A, B, C is equal to alpha. It's mean both are equal. So angle A, S, R is equal to angle A, B, C which is equal to alpha. Similarly, this angle A, R, S is equal to this angle ACB 
it is equal to beta so it shows that triangle abc is similar to triangle asr now hence the ratio of the base will be sr divided by bc and it is equal to an divided by am so here sr is equal to x and bc it will be equal to 3 and this an is equal to 2 minus x and am is equal to height which is equal to 2 now here we have two fractions between equal sides so we will do here cross multiplication so it will become 2x is equal to it will be 3 2 times 6 minus 3x when we will simplify it it will become we will take this 3x to the left hand side so it will be 2x plus 3x is equal to 6 so it will be 5x is equal to 6 now we'll divide 5 on both sides so from here x is equal to 6 divided by 5 it's mean it will be 6 divided by 5 it will also be 6 divided by 5 it will be 6 divided by 5 and it will also be 6 divided by 5 but we have to find the area of square and we know that area of square is equal to side square so sides are x so its mean it will be equal to x square and x is equal to 6 divided by 5 so it will be 6 divided by 5 whole square and 6 divided by 5 squares means 6 square divided by 5 square so area of square will be equal to 6 square is 36 and 5 square is 25 so area of square for this problem is 36 divided by 25 i hope you will like this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and also press the like button thank you